Here we have an HP Spectre laptop, the USB-C model X360 15 inch that came in for no power. We already disassembled the board right here and we're going to work on it together and see what's going on and why the board is not powering on or charging. We have two USB-C ports on the right side here, one and two. Let's take a look inside the ports. It's almost always never the port, but I still look inside the port to see if we possibly have any damaged pins, maybe crossing over, shorting out, but the ports are clean. What's after the port? Let's measure this diode in diode mode. We don't have a short 0 0.58 voltage drop. And while at it, and we have a short on this cap. We did not even start and we have a short on this cap. What about those two caps? Right now a short on those caps is a very good indication that we may have a faulty Thunderbolt controller chip. This is the JHL6340. But we do not know. If we remove the chip and we still have a short, then most likely our short is coming from the CPU. And that's based on my experience working on those boards. So it doesn't make sense to proceed further with the board until we see what's going on here. We have a short here and we have to stick to this area. What happens if we inject voltage at any one of those caps? Let's try it. And we have another Spectre laptops that Big Buzz just put on my bench with exactly the same issue. Look at this. Same exact board, same exact model, different customer. Okay, so what happens if we inject 1.2 volts at any one of those caps? The chip itself is getting hot. Look at this. When I inject voltage at the shorted caps, the Thunderbolt chip is getting hot the JHL6340. So most likely we have a dead controller chip. I mean, do I see a crack on that chip or is it just me? I just noticed this. Is that a crack? It doesn't matter. We have to remove that chip anyway. That's one big chip. And of course, pin number one is on the bottom right. We see that dot here. And if we measure the caps again, we no longer have a short because those caps are connecting with the chip. If we remove that chip and we still have a short, then most likely the problem would have been the CPU. I've worked on such issue before and I traced it down to the CPU. But right now, since the short is gone, most likely the problem is this chip. Let's prep the pads. Let's clean the pads before we solder a new chip. Right now we have unloaded solder on the board. We're gonna mix it with loaded solder. That way the wicking process is a lot easier.
and that's what's nice about the Amtec Flux. It cleans very easy. We are ready to solder a new chip. Apply some flux. And we're gonna grab a new chip. We have a lot of those chips in stock because it's something that we work on constantly. And we have a new chip here, already rebuilt. Right now, I want to lay this down as accurate as possible within the boundaries of that chip, the white square that you see around the chip. Let's wait a few seconds and the chip is making a connection now. Now we're going to reflow. And the chip should fix itself. Just like that. It just went in place. Now I'm going to tap it from the right. So all we need to do is plug it in and test. Big Boss has the laptop and the battery. I do not know if we can test here, but I'll be back. All right, we reassembled the laptop and good news. Laptop is fully functional. Laptop is working. I have a control panel window open. I do not want to show you the customer's name or background. We do see the orange light, which is an indication that the laptop is being charged. We did keep the charging cable plugged in for about 20 minutes and the battery charged up. If we disconnect the cable, Laptop is still on, reconnect the cable, and let's check the amp meter. I have our amp meter plugged in here. This is the same meter that we sell on our e-commerce site. We are currently out of stock, but we should have those back in stock by Monday. Today is Friday. If we check here, laptop is currently being charged at 20 volts, 1.76 amps. Amazing, amazing, we did it. That's it, we're gonna end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.